Egyptian blue, also known as calcium copper silicate, is a pigment used extensively in ancient Egypt from the 4th dynasty until the end of the Roman period in Europe. After this time, its use significantly declined. To prepare this pigment, we start by creating a copper solution. Approximately 20 grams of copper tubing are placed in a beaker and 50 milliliters of 67% nitric acid are poured over it. The initial reaction is vigorous but soon calms down. To drive the reaction forward, we bring the solution to a boil. Once all the copper has dissolved, we are left with a dark blue solution of copper nitrate. The hot solution is then transferred to a larger beaker and diluted with distilled water. We add a concentrated solution of sodium carbonate to this, which neutralizes the remaining nitric acid, forming soluble sodium nitrate and carbon dioxide gas. Simultaneously, it reacts with the copper nitrate to form basic copper carbonate, which precipitates out of the solution. After the bubbling stops, we allow the solution to stand so the basic copper carbonate can settle at the bottom. Next, we vacuum filter the solution to collect the basic copper carbonate. The precipitate is washed three times with distilled water and then transferred to a crystallizing dish to dry. In a glass mortar, we combine 13.2 grams of finely ground silica sand, 5.5 grams of calcium carbonate, and 6 grams of the dry basic copper carbonate. We homogenize the mixture to ensure proper reaction between the components. The contents of the mortar are then transferred to a porcelain crucible, which is placed in a muffle furnace and sintered at 1100 degrees Celsius for two hours. After sintering, the mixture is allowed to cool to room temperature. The formed pigment is transferred to an agate mortar and ground into a fine powder. This is my final yield of the Egyptian blue pigment. The resulting pigment boasts a rich, deep blue color that has captivated artists and historians alike for millennia. Thank you for watching.